guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm Ebony. I'm Erica. And we're back with another hair grease video, but this one is a little bit different. So it's about some doubts about a comeback hair product that we've been using. It's funny how back then, no one really questioned it then, but now there's still people that have questions about it. Even with the hype of hair grease, a lot of people still aren't convinced even though they used it when they were little. So we're just going to give you guys some truths and lies about hair grease uh, that everyone wants to know. <laughs> All right, now one thing I've heard about grease is that grease will clog your scalp and your pores in your scalp and in that way your hair will not grow. And I can speak to that and say that is false. And most hair grease have two ingredients, two main ingredients, which is petroleum and mineral oils. Mm -hmm. And in a lot of black hair products, um, we were kind of conditioned and taught to avoid those two ingredients because they were we were told that it was bad for our hair and it's bad for our scalp and that our hair won't grow. Actually, petroleum and uh, mineral oil, most of that is, if, especially if it's in a hair product that's being sold in stores, that is actually comedogenic. And comedogenic means that it's not made to clog or block your pores. So yes, your hair can grow if you use grease on your scalp. And if we look past the mineral oil and petroleum, um, grease is packed with tons of vitamins that are actually good for your hair and actually encourage hair growth. So yeah, hair can grow if you do grease your scalp. One thing we do want to say is petroleum and mineral oil do have like the ability to trap in dirt and oil if your scalp is dirty or anything. And that is the part that clogs your scalp, not the mineral oil, but just if you already, if your scalp is oily, you go and put grease on it, that's when your scalp will get clogged. So that's why people think grease works better on hair instead of your scalp. That fact is definitely not true because you can use grease on your scalp. Uh, well, we are products of that. Growing up, that's all we, we used, knew. Yeah, that's all we knew. Sunday before school, Sunday before picture day, for Easter. Like, I don't know what we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, it was like a routine every Sunday night, like before school, it's greasing that scalp. And then if there was a little bit left over, the grease would get whipped on our hair, but mm -hmm. our scalp was definitely the first thing that grease touched when it came to using grease in our hair routine. But yeah, if you think it is trapping in dirt and clogging your pores, just change the way you use it and mm -hmm. when you use it. But I do know that grease was our scalp's first love, and it's just a, something else that I can use my scalp massager with and just do scalp massages with, so yeah. yeah, it works fine for me. And that same notion about how you use it, when you use it, that can be applied to hair because hair can shed from using too much grease mm -hmm. and that is true. And that can go for any product. If you pack your hair with too much grease or any product, your hair does shed. Not break, but shed as in longer strands coming out because your hair is just too weight down so it's just gonna give up. And yeah, when I grease my scalp, it's also on the video, um, I kinda let some days, it's like three or four days, use as needed. Don't, yeah, I don't some days my go between. Yeah. I want you to grease my scalp every night. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know people that do that, but I feel like that would that's just too bad for your hair. So yeah, just like when, when it's needed. And the way I found that out was obviously by using it three days in between and use it again. So everybody's different, but mm -hmm. again, just use as needed. And when people do use grease on their hair, there's this notion that grease really isn't moisturizing your hair. And that is true. Grease is not a moisturizer or a sole moisturizer. I think people confuse sheen and shine with it being moisturizing. I'm guilty of it myself, like, ooh, it's shiny. But if you just take, a, like we said earlier, our grandma did it, we still do it, just take a little bit of it, rub it on your hands, and then just work it throughout your hair. Your hair, it, it's shiny, it's cute, but it's not moisturized. All right, so real quick, I just wanna let you guys know. So pretty much this is how I stop my hair, already moisturized and everything. So here is what I'm gonna do with the grease. This is not it. Honestly, all you need is about maybe this, this much. And then just work it throughout your hair. You'll still get shined. You don't need like a glob, you know? And just go about your day. Honestly, I can't go anywhere, but still. And like I said, any moisturizer you use, I don't know how you guys moisturize your hair, but yeah, any moisturizer you use, it's just gonna lock it in and just keep it shiny and nice. Yeah, I know I mentioned like in my last video that you know my hair was moisturized with grease. Again, like I'm still learning about grease. Again, like Evie said, it's more as a sealant. It's not really actually moisturizing your hair. Um, but my hair did feel soft. It didn't feel dry anymore. So that's that's kind of why yeah, I said we, we're guilty. Yeah, we kind of use the term of moisturizing or moisturization mm -hmm. to the hair um, because my hair doesn't feel dry anymore. And we all know that you can moisturize your hair with actual moisturizer and in some cases water, but you can still use grease with that to lock in the moisture as a sealant. Basically, does grease work well as only a sealant on your hair? Uh, that's false. Some people, I've seen people use grease as a leave-in conditioner on damp hair, maybe after washing it. Apparently, you can use it on twist outs and braid outs as well to help define and even shape your curls and maybe it also gives like a bit of a hold so there's plenty of ways to use grease besides 
as a sealant only. That's yeah. just the most common way. Alright, so texture plays a big part into why grease works, which is why you don't see a lot of white women raving about grease or using grease. But in the black hair community, grease is only good for those with natural hair. That's not true. Clearly. So, I, we're relaxed. We use grease. We used it when we were natural and then we used it in like the beginning years of being relaxed mm -hmm. and then we went away from it. But um, we still use it. Our mom actually used to put grease, she used to grease our scalp right after a relaxer. She would go ahead right. and grease our scalp after that. The thing is that with some relaxed hair, um, the texture is actually finer, especially after we first get our relaxer. Um, so that's why I use grease closer to wash day. Y'all saw in the video, third, fourth week hair. I don't put any any products in my hair anyway in the first two weeks. So, But when we were using it, we were relaxed. Right after yeah. we relaxed our hair, it would be all stiff and like it would make mm. it look weight down. Yeah, and that's because I, we really didn't need product in our hair, but I mean, it made our hair grow when we were younger, so whatever, but now it's just like, <laughs> for me, <laughs> for me personally, right now, I would put grease or other products in my hair, third, fourth week hair, and it just worked fine for me, um, doing it closer to wash day. Yeah, and then after, for wash day, just go ahead and go into clarifying shampoo, mm -hmm. and that just takes it all yeah. out. I will say this, I'm just going to kind of deviate just a little bit, but... Uh, with our relaxed hair, we do get keratin treatments. In the next few months, we do plan on getting one, a keratin treatment. During a keratin treatment, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, but you can't use clarifying shampoo when you get a keratin, keratin treatment because it does strip mm -hmm. keratin out of your hair. So I will say I might, I will probably limit my grease usage around that time, but I'll still use grease with not as much because I don't want to like be tempted to reach for clar clarifying shampoo. I still use grease with keratin treated hair, relaxed hair, it's just not as much. But right now, I mean, we're fine using it. There's nothing wrong with using it on relaxed hair. It's just, you guys see us use it. It's not a thing with just the natural hair community. It's something that could benefit anybody, whether you're natural or relaxed. Right. And I know we've been raving about grease lately and our love for it, which is why we will never go back to oiling our scalp. Gotcha. <laughs> Boss. Uh, yeah, so of course we're going to keep oils in our routine. Like Oils is what, if you guys have been watching our videos, long time subscribers, you know oils have been growing our hair ever mm. since we discovered them. It's a mainstay in our routine and we're going to keep it. Grease is something that we have as an option. It works for us. Mm. Oils work for us. If you know our hair routine, our hair routine loves options with yeah. consistency. So I've yeah, seen our oil videos. Right. So <laughs> we're still keeping the oil, still keeping the grease. They can work together. You know, we know how to work it in our routine so that you know it, no, one doesn't cancel the other one out. All right. Sometimes you have to go back to what works for your hair. You know, sometimes you stray away from it. But there are some times when you go back to those back in the day products. You realize that back the company. The yeah. You realize <laughs> that the company or the brand actually changed like the formula and the ingredients in the um, actual product, and now it's just not the same or it doesn't. Work like it used to. I'm gonna go with truth and a lie for that one because I really don't know. Back when we were using grease, we were too young to even care or know what was in the product. So I don't know if the product, if the formula changed with the Blue Magic grease that we're using now. Blue Magic um, has their original lines. So I don't even think they even touched that one. They branched out to other ones. So they have like six other hair greases uh, with Indian hemp, argan oil, so on, so on. Yeah. But so they kept their original one. It smells the exact same from we used it when we were like six, seven years mm -hmm. old. A lot of our older subscribers, y'all might be able to tell us if a lot of these comeback products have changed their uh, formulas, because I know you guys might have been a lot older back then, sorry. So yeah, if you know anything has changed in it, or if you wanna, if you have input about all these comeback products that were good for our hair then, and then maybe their effectiveness in our hair now, just let us know in the comments below and we'll see you guys there and talk to you guys. But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you guys next week. And yeah, have a good one. Stay safe. Yeah, stay safe. Bye. Bye.